At the same time, while the director of number one middle school and the others were observing Lu Fan from the surveillance room, a person wearing a detective suit began to approach the room. This person was wearing a cap and glasses, with one hand in their pocket and holding a briefcase with the other. The director of number one middle school and director Bai stood up and were dumbfounded as they couldn't believe that Lu Fan had been able to defeat the Black Mane Wolves with just one blow. While everyone was distracted, the man opened the door of the room and caught everyone's attention. Upon hearing his voice, Shanghai turned his head back and became alert upon seeing him. The man entered the room, placed his hand on top of his cap, and introduced himself as Kangxin, a special envoy from Longdu. He had come here to take someone back to Longdu for investigation. He took off his cap and while holding it in his hand, he started looking at Shanghai and asked where the Dragon Master, Lu Fan, was. A statistics window appeared. Kangxin had the combat class and was level 57. At the same time, in the nightmare trial, Lu Fan began cutting the vines to make his way using the dagger. While holding the dagger with one hand, he extended the other forward and opened the system map. Upon seeing that he had found what he had been looking for, he became happy. A system window appeared to inform him that he had arrived at the designated location on this treasure map. Then another window of the system appeared to inform him that a high-level treasure map had been synthesized. While Lu Fan was looking at the system map, he couldn't help but feel excited because the high-level treasure map that he had synthesized before entering the Trial Realm was on the first floor of the Celestial Tower. Lu Fan began cutting through the vines in his path, and once he cleared it, he saw a book. He reached out and grabbed it. Then a system window appeared to inform him that he had obtained a skill book called Accelerated Growth. This book was shining. It had several gems embedded in the cover. According to the statistics window, this book was called Accelerate Growth and it was of rare quality. The skill book allowed the user to learn a passive skill of accelerated growth after its use, which increased the amount of experience obtained by pets by 100%. Without hesitation, Lu Fan opened the book, causing it to emit a powerful energy that began to surround his body. In the process, he acquired the ability of accelerated growth. While he was looking at the book, he thought that this skill was very suitable for small nocturnal creatures. While his body was surrounded by a powerful energy, he clenched his fist tightly, turned his head towards it, and while looking at his fist, he smiled and thought that when he had left the morning village, he felt that Zioya was leveling up too slowly. But now with this passive ability, she would level up much faster. At the same time, in the room where Director Bai, Shanghai, and Kiang Shang were present and were observing Lu Fan through a screen. He turned his head towards Director Bai and explained to him that since Lu Fan was a student from their school, Bai should immediately interrupt his trial and ask him to come back here. Director Bai started approaching him and with a serious look called him excellence and explained to him that even if there was an important matter at hand, it would be better to wait for the students to finish their exams. As the director of the third institute, he was willing to take responsibility for Lu Fan's actions on behalf of him. Tiang Shang turned his head forward and while touching his glasses with his hand, he explained that even though Director Bai could take responsibility instead of Lu Fan, he couldn't receive the punishment for him. Upon hearing this, Director Bai became confused and asked what punishment he was talking about. At that moment, Shanghai approached Tiang Shang and grabbed his arm causing him to turn his head back. While Shanhai had one hand in his pocket, he stared at Kang Shang intently and speaking in terms of old classmates. He asked him to listen to what he had to say. The director of number one middle school reached out his hand towards them and asked what the dragon master had done. Kang Shang turned his body backwards and with a little force made Shanhai release his arm, leaving him somewhat confused. With an angry look, he asked Shanghai not to distract him while he was performing his task and also requested that he not try to approach him. After saying this, he began to stare at Shanghai with a furious look, then pointed at him with his finger, and despite not knowing why he was defending the dragon tamer, warned him that if he got involved in this matter, both the Jin family and the high-ranking members of the dragon clan would not be pleased. Shanghai simply started to look at Kang Shang with a serious gaze and remained silent. After saying this, he pushed Shanghai using his hand, turned around, and asked him if he understood this. Then he told Director Bai to bring Lu Fan. While he was distracted, Shanghai called him an old friend. Upon hearing this, he turned his head back. Shanghai took out a cigarette, put it in his mouth, lit the lighter and while bringing it close to his mouth to light the cigarette. He explained to Kang Shang that the relationship between the high-ranking officials of Longdu and the Jin family had an impact on both the Dragon Kingdom and the Taiki Kingdom which was certainly complicated. He revealed to everyone that once Lu Fan's secret was revealed, 
both the high-ranking officials and the Jin family would cease to be important. He lit the cigarette and while holding it in his hand, with a serious look he began to stare at Kang Shang and told him that today, no one could take Lu Fan away. Upon hearing this, Kang Shang couldn't help but get angry. He started looking at Shanghai and while pointing his finger at him, he asked him to stop talking nonsense as he didn't believe that Lu Fan had a secret. He also added that disobeying the orders of the special envoy was an act of insubordination. While they were conversing, the directors remained silent without interrupting. Tiang Shang turned around, but at that moment, Shanghai approached him and grabbed his wrist. He turned his head towards him and they both started staring into each other's eyes, creating tension in the atmosphere. While holding a cigarette with one hand, Shanghai stared at Kang Shang and told him that even if he was making a mistake, he was willing to accept it. Kang Shang turned his head towards him and with an aggressive look revealed to him that his actions would be presented to the senior management of Longdu. Shanghai was a level 57 knight, and Kang Shang was a level 57 swordsman. Director Bai approached them and asked them to calm down as they should not affect the important trial exam. Kang Shang made Shanghai let go of his hand, then he turned his head slightly towards him and asked why he was going so far for Lu Fan. Shanghai took the cigarette out of his mouth, turned his head towards the screen, and while exhaling the air from his lungs, he asked him if he didn't feel intrigued by Lu Fan's secret, which angered the high-ranking officials of Longdu and the Jin family. Kang Shang raised his head and while looking at the screen, he was shocked to see that Lu Fan had chosen the nightmare level. At the same time in the nightmare trial, Lu Fan made his way through cutting vines and reached a door. At first, he only wanted to test how far he could go alone, but now that he had the passive ability, he decided to continue exploring further. While Lu Fan had his hand on his hip and was observing the door with a smile, his status window appeared. Lu Fan was a level 5 dragon master. He had 280,000 yuan, he had a strength of 184 points, agility of 103, spirit of 47, and stamina of 158 points. He had the art of taming dragons which allowed him to be able to tame dragons. He had an ability called Dragon Claw which allowed him to transform his arm into a dragon claw, whose power depended on the current pet dragon. He had another ability called Dragon's Inspiration. This ability allowed him to inspire himself and the dragon pet, increasing all attributes and attack power by 30%. The skill Accelerate Growth increased the amount of experience obtained by his pet by 100%. He extended his hand to one side causing a fireball to appear. He decided it was better to summon Xiaoya so that she could gain early experience. At the same time in the surveillance room, Kang Shang turned his head towards the others and with a surprised look asked them what made Lu Fan so special as to dare to challenge the nightmare trial. The director of number one middle school called his attention. While he was pointing at the screen, he asked if he hadn't seen how Lu Fan had defeated the monsters with just one blow. At that moment, Xiaoya appeared and started roaring. Upon hearing her roar, Kang Shang and the director of number one middle school turned their heads towards the screen and were shocked. While Lu Fan had his hand extended towards the sky, and his body was surrounded by powerful flames, he gave Xiaoya the order to come out. Upon seeing Xiaoya, everyone was shocked and began to wonder if she was a dragon. Xiaoya approached the stone door, then extended her hand towards it, and while staring at it intently, prepared her claw to break it into pieces. While Shanghai was observing this, he told the others that despite having seen the dragoness Xiaoya once, seeing her again still impacted him. Xiaoya forcefully struck the stone door with her claw, breaking it into pieces in the process. While Kang Shang and the others were watching this with their mouths open, Shanghai turned his body towards them and revealed to all of them that what they had just seen was Lu Fan's secret. He took the cigarette out of his mouth, reached towards the screen where Xiaoya was, turned his body towards the others and with a smile told them that Lu Fan was the only dragon master in history who had a dragon. Seeing that Lu Fan had actually managed to tame a dragon, Director Bai was speechless. At the same time, Lu Fan arrived on floor 2 of the nightmare trial. While she was burning all the monstrous plants using her fire breath, Lu Fan began cutting the vines using his dagger. A system notification appeared to inform everyone that Lu Fan had unlocked level 2. While the principal of number 1 middle school was watching how Lu Fan and his dragon were defeating the monsters, he was surprised and told the others that this was the strength of dragons. He also added that without a third class change, one couldn't face his dragon. Another teacher approached and, seeing how Lu Fan was finishing off the monsters with a single blow, revealed to the others that after leveling up, 
he would be able to bring down an entire country. Lu Fan took first place with 58,500 points, far surpassing Hong Wu who was in second place on the Fear Trial's second floor with 27,550 points. In third and fourth place were Kin Q and Xiao Man, who were on the Fear Trial's third floor with 12,570 points. In the blink of an eye, thanks to Xiao Ya massacring monsters, Lu Fan reached level 13 of the Nightmare Trial. While Director Bai was observing Lu Fan, he revealed to them that not only was his dragon powerful, but he had also improved his own ability. He revealed to everyone that Lu Fan's attributes far exceeded 100, even without summoning the dragon. He could still maintain first place in Jianghai City. Shanghai took the cigarette out of his mouth and while holding it in his hand, turned his head towards Kang Shang and with a smile asked him if he still wanted to take Lu Fan before the higher-ups. Kang Shang turned his head towards him and while looking into his eyes, he replied that today he had finally broadened his vision and understood why he had dared to offend the Jin family. Shanghai turned his back on him, lowered his head, closed his eyes, and as he put the cigarette in his mouth, decided to copy a fragment of Lu Fan's great exam video and send it to the master. So from now on, there would be no need to bother intermediaries in the relationship between Lu Fan and the Jin family. He asked Kang Shang to go back where he came from. Upon hearing the name master, he was shocked and asked if he was really going to send it to him. While Shanghai had the cigarette in his mouth, he turned his head towards him and with a smile revealed to him that he was going to send the video to the Marquis of the North, to King. At the same time, Lu Fan and Xiao Ya reached level 20 of the Nightmare Trial. In front of them was a dark corridor. Slowly, someone who was holding a magic ball began to approach them. This person was a woman who had her hand extended to one side and had summoned a magic ball in the palm of her hand. Behind her were three knights, according to the statistics window. Her name was Dark Sacrifice and she was level 15. She had an ability called Black Curse, which reduced the target's stats by 50% while increasing all allies' stats by 25%. She had another ability called Merging into Darkness. This ability enveloped oneself and all allied targets in shadows for 5 seconds, making them immune to all attacks. Her last ability was called Darkness Control. She could lead the Dark Knights and make them fight for her. While Lu Fan was petting Xiaoya, he began to smile. With the growth acceleration effect, she was about to level up. Lu Fan reached out his hand towards the woman and ordered Xiaoya to use the Lava Flame ability. She obeyed. While she stared at the woman with a killer look, she opened her mouth and conjured a fireball. A system window appeared to inform Lu Fan that the ability was recharging. Xiaoya opened her mouth and unleashed a powerful flame towards the woman in the Dark Nights. She was using the Lava Flame ability, which allowed her to continuously emit flames forward, causing damage and healing herself at the same time. In a matter of seconds, Xiaoya's flames ended the lives of the woman in the Dark Nights, burning them down to their bones, completing level 20 of the Nightmare Trial in the process. While Xiaoya was closing her mouth, Lu Fan began to cover his face with his hand and couldn't help but smile. Two system windows appeared because Lu Fan and Xiao Ya had leveled up. Upon seeing this, he couldn't help but praise her. Lu Fan took first place on the leaderboard with 90,000 points. In second place was Hong Wu who had 31,000 points and was at level 34 of the Fear Trial. In third place were Kin Ku and Xiao Man who had 1690 points and were also in the Fear Trial. Lu Fan turned his head to the side and with a smile asked Xiao Ya to come with him as they were going to clean the Celestial Tower together. This is the end of the video, if you guys want to see the next part, then don't forget to subscribe and like the video.